What is that? Whisper made that. Yo, what is that? The one of my mods made that. What have you done to my goat? What have you done to my goat? You just fucking rolled him. Ain't no way the content lil popped up. Pop, 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 Yo, why is that so hard to say? Pop cooked up. Fucking hell. It's solo queue. Okay, listen. Yo, yo, how far do you think FNC and G2 make it at MC? Any hope? Copium. Uh, yeah, some hope. Pog, listen, go, man. I sat there for f yep, yep. for a day. Okay, two days, maybe a day. Asking like six different pro players if they can come over on Thursday. Um, so they can, we can do another one of the episodes. You know, I asked, I asked a lot of people. But a lot of them have left. They're leaving or they're sick. So a lot of pro players you, are either already leaving for Korea, or leaving for Chengdu, or they're going home, or they're sick. A lot of pro players are sick. So, um, yeah, I asked so many pro players to come over, but no one can come. Everyone's leaving. Uh, I even asked people like Carsey, but they're going home, so. T1 got trucked again. Did they actually? Did T1 get trucked again? SKT's top laner can be oh, a main character or supporting man. actor. Selfish Kid, Zeus, Season 12 was yeah, Aatrox. This year is Rek'Sai. How much money do you need to be given to practice champs? Jesus. New rat trip in New York's... I've seen those before. Roster changes during the Rat King's day off. Okay, why do you write third day off? Why do you have to specify? Why do you have to specify it? It's... Why can't I just say it's day off? It's what's wrong with having three days off, you fucking Any cat sex DD? You fucking ratatas. Probably a French team. I don't know. Where is Abadaga going? Abadaga's going to K Corp probably. Um Uh Wait, what else is did did Wulu share already? He shared that closer's there, right? Hmm. Their top player won't surprise you. Actually, there it will. Their top laner will surprise you. You'll be like, why the fuck is that guy in Europe? They're trying out Antonio. Nice. Little summary of roster changes. Linkas went from K Corp to... Bro, this whole K Corp vitality thing. The fact... Chat, how many times did I say that K Corp should get Linkas on their main team? Supposedly, Linkas didn't want to play on the main team. He didn't want to. But... Just imagine Vitality and K Corp's offseason. Vitality's like, yo, we'll give you um We'll give you upset and bow after we finish last place if you buy them. And K Corp's like, yeah, yeah. They get all their money out, they're like, yeah, 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 upset and bow, upset and bow. Boom, throws the money. Boom! And then they just bought them off uh, Vi Vitality and they finish last place. And like, fuck! And they have like one of the best Academy junglers, and Vitality's like, yo, we'll buy him off you for like 30k, 40k, because he's an ERL player, and they're like, oh, yeah, 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 you can take him, we don't want him. Boom, gone. Yoink. Yo, Vitality just fucking... <laughs> Easy money. <laughs> just milked K Corp and got their best academy player. What the fuck? That guy was going to be... That guy's going to be really good. I feel bad for Diaglas, though. It's Lintsas, not Linkas. Yo, it's it's APA, not APA. It's Lintsas, not Linkas. Bro, it's fucking D plus key and not Damwon. My stream! Yeah, Linkas can be really good. So yeah, I think Vitality is crushing the off-seasons. <clears throat> Underrated, Vitality is crushing the off-seasons, I think. It's really nice they got Linkas. That guy's mega good. Um... A little drama, so the CEO of K-Corp explained how the contract of Linkas worked. Oh. He says, when recruiting Linkas to KCB, we're aware of his close relationship with Mac and Pad as mentors. Ah, I see. We can assure you that we always do our best to retain our talents, as we did the Kalist. But Linkas' situation is close. As for LEC, the trials for potential changes begin tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to go to the main team. KC was on the point of signing Thanatos. Yeah, I heard that KC was trying to sign Thanatos. Now they have a different Korean top laner. Uh, supposedly. Yeah, chat, when you see the top laner K Corp, you're like, what the fuck? What is a. It makes sense, but why the fuck is that guy in Europe? It's not the Shy. Chat, if it was the Shy, I would stand up and scream that it would be the Shy right now. Um, not related to the Ross Chainers, but the Esports World Cup announced a $60 million prize pool and Gen G retweeted it. 
Bro, it's not Gen G that just retweeted it. You know, where's their main post? You know, apparently, the Esports World Cup is paying teams to put more teams forward. So, like, you know they have, like, 20 games? They're paying teams, like, you know, I don't know, TL or whatever, C9, I don't know who's going G2, to get more teams to compete in their tournament to pay them for competing in their tournament. So, like I said, you'll see loads of teams, like, I don't know, I mean, you can see who's going by people who comment because they're, like, soft launching that they're going to, to Saudi. You can see it. It's like, Fnatic's like, no way! Cloud9's like, damn! Fnatic's like, wow! Space Station Gaming, OG, 9GG, Oh, maybe scrolling on Twitter is a bit of a mistake, actually. I won't go any further. But, um, yeah, they're all signing teams. And I know exactly what's going to happen. I know exactly what's going to happen. All the teams are going to go to Saudi. Everyone's going to get pissed and say, like, it's sports washing, you shouldn't go. They're going to get really bad PR. They're going to get shit tons of money. And then to save their, soul, their, their, their PR, they're going to donate money to the LGBTQ charity or something. And everyone's going to move on or something like that's going to happen. I know exactly that's what they're going to do. They're going to try and fix the PR by donating some of the money to LGBTQ fucking or, or something like that. And they're going to try and save face. It's classic. Classic. I can see it already. All right, what else? K-Corp fans, you took everything from me. C9 Jack, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Jesus. Rat mentioned by Medic. What is this? It's just about streaming. But about, like, you look at co-streaming as well. I, I, if I were a pro on a bottom tier team at the moment, I'd look at Kajor and I'd say, hey, yeah, I won't get 100,000 viewers, but if I get 10, like that's more money than I'm making in the LEC. Right? Why, why do I not just apply for co-streaming rights? I'm a smart enough guy. I don't actually have to be... But getting 10k viewers is hard, man. There's not a lot of pro... There's no league pro player right now that can hold 10k viewers playing solo queue. I hope you'll laugh fine at Cedral and that chat. Yankos is pretty close like though. Like Yankos, brand, Yankos yeah, can maybe. Yeah. Just be a smart guy to maybe Yankos can, yeah. And it works, right? And you can make a lot of money through that. And I also think that's part of why we see Riot like toning back investment into main broadcast. Also, you guys will be surprised. Wait. Uh, you'll be surprised how much money streamers earn. Can I tell you how much I earned in one day? Is that breaking TOS? Let me check. Is it... TOS, if I tell... Pog, let's go, man. Um, wait, I'm gonna ask if I'm breaking any rules here. Because I don't know if it's TOS or not. But if it's not TOS, I'll just tell you. Anyway, we'll keep watching. Because it's... Why... All the viewers are on a co-stream. Or, like, I think Kajal actually at one point had more viewers than the LEC normal Twitch for, like, the first time at finals, right? And, that, like, great for him. Easy clap! The rat army is too big! Very happy for the guy, but if I'm a higher up, and also why does everyone when they refer to co-streaming they bring up me? It's like, bro, okay, I get it. Like the stream's growing a lot, but everyone's like pointing at Kajal as the co-streamer that's ruining everything or something, or like is is causing these problems. But Ibai is double the main broadcast. Kameto is also more than the brain broadcast. Tolkien is half or a quarter of the broadcast. Uh, it's happening in every other esport. Tarek owns the broadcast in Valorant, bro. I'm just a I'm just a rat, bro. Like, it's crazy. Tarek literally is the owner of Valorant, as far as I'm aware, on Twitch. And Ibai, Ibai is the reason they're breaking viewership records. You're a recent case? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Okay, I'm allowed to tell you. Oh, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna give you a ballpark. Okay, chat? So, if you wanna know how much Twitch streamers earn, you can put this in perspective. So, on the 14th of April... Yeah, which was Sunday. I streamed LCK, LPL, and um, wait, I'll just show you. Wait, hold up. Because people have this idea that earnings. Sh so this was my stats. Okay, I streamed for 13 hours to an average audience of 73k, and I peaked at 134k viewers. How much money do you think that stream made? How much money do you think that stream made? I don't really give a fuck about saying this because people seem to have this like conception. How much money do you think that stream made? I'm not allowed to say the specific answer, but 
it made between 10 to seventeen thousand dollars that stream and that's an average viewers of seventy three thousand and that's from ads and subscriptions so not just ads so that's kind of how but that but like i know you're saying pog but think about that that's seventy three thousand viewers for 13 hours that's like the most insane day of my stream of the entire year. So if you filter that down, you might be surprised that... Uh, obviously, that's shit ton of money, don't get me wrong. But $17,000, 10 to $17,000 is a shit ton of money. But some people think that streamers on... Like, if you stream for 73,000 viewers for 13 hours, you're making like 100k or some shit. Bro, you're not. So maybe that puts it better into perspective. Do that 30 times and you get 300k a month. Oh, just get 100,000 viewers a day. Just just get 100,000 viewers. How oh, are you supposed to get 100,000 cool, viewers a day? XDD. What are you on about? My stream average viewers is like 10k. Anyway, that's um that's how much Twitch makes basically if you're if you're Wait. <clears throat> how much do you make on donos? I actually don't make that much oh, money on donations cool, because uh, I don't have alerts enabled half the time. 73,000 XDD. Um, you're ignorant. I'm not trying to be ignorant or say this or say that. Why are you calling me ignorant? I'm just trying to show you Pog, so you can go, put man. it in perspective better. That's it. XDD what, what, what did I say that's pit XDD. ignorant? XDD. The Valorant finals, Tarek said that he made $75,000 in subs. He had... Jesus, Does that 000. include bits That's and crazy. donations, rat boy? XDD. Yeah, that, in that includes bits, subs, and ads. And that's pre-tax, yeah, pre-tax. So you can put it all into, like, rough perspective. I think that if you, if you average that out, then you can probably calculate um, how much... Um, yeah, how much of that was subs? Uh, like, six... I mean, half it was like subs, I think. Half subs, half ads, I would say. Um, anyway. Thoughts on the new LCS format? So yeah, there you go. That's, uh, I just want to like put that in perspective. If anyone wants to get into like, it's, it's going to go into like, I don't know, streaming, whatever. I guess you can filter that down. Um, uh, and I'm glad, like, I'm, I'm happy the stream's grown a lot. Uh, and I'm not doing this to like show off. I, I, the last thing I want to do is show off. I don't even spend money. But um, it was more just to show you Pog, what, it, what it's go, about. Man. And I see that, I'm like, but why, why would I put more money into when the, is the playthrough the of The Last of Us like happening? Like, Cable is getting more viewers, the co-streams are getting more viewers without actually me having to invest anything in that. So, so why it's would not I... 17k a day, shut the fuck up. I put more money into my normal broadcasts, right? And as much as, you know, there's the argument that co-streamers are basically just... It's basically $150 an hour with 10,000 viewers. Hmm... I'm going to use the word leech. I don't think Kajo is a leech, but leech is like... The what the fuck, man? What do you mean I'm a leech? A good the term for what they're doing. It's leeching the main product and then just applying the action to it. I'm not a leech. Extra degree of analysis, right? Um, I don't think Hive Up see it that way. I don't think they see that for a co-streamer to exist, you have to have an analyst desk existing. You have to have all the security staff existing. You have to have the people doing the lights and the tech and everything existing, right? Um, so I, I think... Part of the luster as well will be taken away oh, because there'll be less go, investment man. into the broadcast product. Because yeah. people Sorry see to hear you're not making money. What is this about me? It's like, Take well, some of we're mine, the numbers please. anyway without investing into the product. So why would I invest more money into the product? Right? That that's something that always blows my mind. Is like if, like if that happened in a traditional sport, there is no way that that would be allowed and be that no. person would then be on the broadcast, which has been proven by like a personality like Pat McAfee. That <clears throat> I'm not a leech. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like everyone hates co-streamers. I'm not saying Medic hates co-streamers or anything like that, but I'm saying like um, everyone's pointing to me and saying like, you're ruining esports. You're ruining esports. You're the reason why the broadcast doesn't spend more money. You're the reason why um, the content's cut. You're the reason for the layout. Like, it's like, Jesus, man. Like, what, what do you... <laughs> Uh, man, I'm just a streamer who's streaming. And I got asked to stream it, and I streamed it. 
and I feel bad because I guess like <clears throat> it kind of is but I don't know it's a weird topic weird topic weird topic what did Pedro bring to be honest what I think my personal take okay my, my quick take to like fix fix it is but I think um um I think uh league should go to open circuit Riot then doesn't have to spend all their money on the broadcast. They can spend it on fixing their game. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, they should outsource it, let third parties do it, and then maybe caster salaries are like competitive and stuff, or I don't know, like they have more incentive to invest more money in the broadcast or some shit. And then maybe, I don't know, they just introduce creator codes or something for casters or players or skins or revenue generation from like fucking in-game content so that teams can make more money or some shit or casters can make money or i don't know they should just they should just oh, go third party go, but man. they won't do it because they've got franchising xdd they won't do it also a lot of people are like pointing and saying that the reason koshimers like koshimers are ruining things but also i feel like okay viewership was going down and then Riot's solution was this. And it worked, but it's obviously fucked the broadcast. But I think to unfuck it, like, what Riot's done is they've made the broadcast so small that they get they get one roadshow. Like, L LEC does three splits and a finals. They work for eight months and they go to one stadium. And it's like, why the fuck have we done that? Just go third party. You'll go to a stadium every other week. Like, Riot can save money by not investing in the broadcast and make more money off people and players with creator codes or some shit. And then just third party it and let everyone else do it. It'll self-sustain easy. League will self-sustain easy. They would be giving up and admitting they fucked up. Well, I can't do it forever, right? Riot can't hold on to the, the, the competitive esports forever, right? It's gonna die eventually if they don't let go of it because they're basically like... Like, they're just shrinking it more and more and more and more and more, so... Like, I'm sure people would much rather watch G2 Fnatic for an open qualifier to a major than G2 Fnatic best of three for a double elimination um, split. It takes one team to carry my region. Bro, you say that, but then Hansama is not going to flash and engage, die and lose the game. That's what happened last MSI. Don't judge which European team's going to carry us, okay? Because everyone always used to say G2 is the reason we win, but... The only team that's gotten out of groups in the last three years for Europe is Mad Lions, isn't it? Mad Lions got out of groups in 21, didn't they? Or 2020? That's the last time Europe got out of groups. And Rogue, yeah, it was Mad and Rogue. You say G2 is this demon in international tournaments. Motherfucker, they didn't do anything. They've done nothing for four years. Three years. They made semis at the Worlds 2020. Then they didn't make Worlds. Then they got knocked out in groups, I think. And they got knocked out in groups again. And then in MSI, I guess they beat EG and they made EG their sons. And then they lost to NRG. But they beat Weibo and they beat Damon. That was good last year. What is this? WE announces the departure of Prince. Farewell. I'm going to say farewell, Prince. So weird to me. They got kicked. Riddle of the day. I started as, a, as an ad before swapping my role. Oh, an AD. For moving to Korea and the NAs in 2014. Oh, it's Korja J. Anyway, chat, enough ranting about Koshimi and stuff. Um, hopefully, the scene fixes itself and casters get paid what they're worth because I don't think casters are getting paid what they're worth. This is the thing, right? Riot has a stranglehold on, on, uh, on competitive esports, so casters are like. Yeah, oh, that's anyway. Big. Production. Why don't we just put the Shy's oh, head? Because I'm pretty sure bro. if the Shy doesn't uh, stay on Weibo Gaming for next year, I'm Kadro a little bit of a rat gonna scratch scatter yeah. around. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I will keep like, Weibo in my heart. Yeah. What? What did I say? This wrong. Weibo in my heart. Pork. Yeah. Well, I say this wrong. They're in my heart. They're not getting my support though. I will forever remember them, but I won't support them without them. Oh my God, chat! You're not gonna. You're gonna laugh at this. Okay, don't laugh. Don't laugh. So, oh my god. So basically, I've been having an issue, okay? I've been having this issue with playing League, okay? So, 
two days ago, I thought I'll play League of Legends, okay? I queued up, and like, for some reason, my ping was like 40 MS. I was like, what the fuck? And every now and then, it would say attempting to reconnect. And I would DC and then reconnect instantly. And I was like, bro, what is happening? What? So I tweeted out, I tweeted out, and I said, is anyone else having like issues since the fucking change of, uh, of like the patch or something? I don't know, did something change? I tweeted it out. And everyone said they were fine. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just me. So I woke up the next day, which was yesterday, and I kept playing. And then yesterday I got it as well. I was like, what the fuck? Attempting to reconnect. I completely forgot attempting to reconnect. Uh, a ping is high. My, my clicks feel weird. And that's why I was inting. I was like, bro, this is so fucking annoying. I just started running it down or like not. I was trying, you know, but I couldn't focus. And I thought maybe it's Vanguard or some shit. I don't know. So I restarted the internet. Okay, I restarted the router. Restarted it. Okay. Queued up. Same problem. I restarted my PC because it had been on for like a week. Queued up, same problem. I went through all my task manager. I went through everything. I checked everything that maybe could be downloading or anything. I changed my Wi-Fi password. I thought, you know what? Something's wrong with the Wi-Fi. Um, something's happening. Um, but then when I did that, I couldn't get into it. I was like, wait, what the fuck's happening? I guess it's something, it's something, something's, something's weird here. So I couldn't get into it. I was like, hmm. So then I went to the router and I changed the network cable that it was plugged into. Because I was like, what the fuck? And it didn't work. And you know, then I looked at my PC and I, I looked at the back and then there was no ethernet cable in the back of my computer. I was like, wait, how is there no ethernet cable in the back of my computer? Like what? This fucking thing has been running on Wi-Fi for, for a month. It's been running on Wi-Fi for a month, bro. I've been streaming on Wi-Fi. I was like, what? What happened? I didn't realize, I, it didn't make sense to me that my PC has Wi-Fi. Like, why does it have Wi-Fi? It's a PC! How did that happen? I never put the password in for the Wi-Fi. What? That's fucking fried. It's because I went out to England. I remember when I went to England, I unplugged everything from the computer. I unplug, 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 unplug. And I took all my stuff with me. And I must have unplugged the oh, ethernet cable as well. Man. And then when I plugged everything back in, I must have forgot the ethernet cable because the PC was already on the internet. Yourself an ethernet cable from my six months Crazy. Less than three. Crazy, man. What is this? Wait, why can't I click play? What's well, happening? Sources have informed me that the LCS is moving to a best of three format for the summer. I know a lot of Pog people champ. have been wanting best of three for a while. This has been a big conversation. I did a best poll of three earlier is this year where people said that this was something that they would like to see instead of best of ones. But I do want to let everybody know that it is going to be a single round robin. So you can keep sort of the expectation that we'll see about two game days per week. Uh, we are not going to be moving to a four or five day game schedule. And then in single addition, round we robin will or also what? see a two week break in the middle of the split uh, similar to what we saw in spring, which I know is a little unpopular, uh, but this will take place during the time of the Esports World Cup. Now, if you're not familiar with the Esports World Cup, it's an international event uh, being funded by a brutal totalitarian regime that Riot has partnered with. Uh, and I believe that event kicks off on the 4th of July. So um, there you go. This is something that will, I guess, help fill that gap that we uh, didn't have anything to fill in spring whenever we had that two week break. So Jesus. you can all enjoy that. Anyway, that's the news, but I do want to talk a little bit about uh, my Look, take on all man. of this because I know a lot of folks have been angry at me in a lot of cases. Just fucking rips them. <laughs> for suggesting that best of threes are not ideal for the LCS. People have called me like a best of three hater and blah, blah, blah. And so, so basically, what is it? The TLDR is best of uh, best of three, best of three. That's huge. Best of three is huge. Yeah, that's good for for amount of game time played. But um, but single round robin is really cringe. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Single round robin is cringe. Are you gonna coach Melcias next split? Uh, I don't know if I'll coach Melcias next split.